I'll be showing you my vest that I use for turkey hunting. I actually got this at the National Wild Turkey Federation last year. Uh, it's actually coming up this year. It's a grounded, a grounded turkey vest. It's uh, they're from 2022. It's when they started making them. Uh, it's a really good vest. It's really light. Uh, there's a lot of zippers on it, but I guess that's all right. They have little magnets for uh, your mouth calls in them. Uh, a lot of a lot of room to put uh, stuff in if you need a drink or anything. Just put your water bottle on there, and that's the vest I use. So uh, the vest I use for turkey hunting is a uh, field line turkey vest. I think this is pretty old. Um, it was a hand-me-down from my dad. He got a new vest last turkey season. But um, a bunch of pockets to use. You can put your mouth calls in, a uh, slate call, uh, striker for your slate call. Um, just uh, a lot of nice open areas to put stuff you need to take turkey hunting with you. Um, but yeah, overall, nice vest for that I use. Yep. And, uh, back to Bernie. Uh, I'll be showing you my mouth calls that I use. Uh, I recently got a couple more at the West Virginia Hunt and Fishing Show. Uh, I keep during this little tackle box thing because I keep them in the fridge to keep them good. But uh, I got three Woodhaven calls. Uh, I typically use the Red Wasp. That's the one I've used most last year. And uh, I'm on a TV show called Brothers of the Woods, and we are sponsored by Hardy's Custom Game Calls. Uh, they make amazing calls. These are the calls I mostly use. Uh, the Mountain Mama is probably one of my top favorite calls. Uh, I used it a lot yeah, last year. That's the uh, turkey I end up killing with. But, uh, yeah, they're the mouth calls I use, and I'll have Tyler show you his. All right. So, uh, I have two of Hardy's custom calls here. I have a uh, blue one, and a white with blue reeds, and a black one with red reeds. Um, overall, really good calls. Um, I do have a couple of Woodhaven calls back at home, but... I sadly uh, forgot them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, two really good mouth calls. Highly recommend Hardy's custom calls. Yep, make sure you go check them out. Uh, I'm going to be showing you what other things I, well, I'll show you my slate calls. I have in my vest here. So I uh, have three slate calls. I have one, one glass pot, but this is, I'll go ahead and show you my box call. Uh, this is an uh, old violin. That's what it's called. It's from uh, Pistol Creek. Uh, it's a nice sounding turkey call. It has a real, real high to it. <laughs> Sounds real good. It's good for a locator call when uh, it's a little windy day. You call down in the valley and you can really strike one up with it. And uh, I'll show you my owl hooter. I have, I have an owl hooter I got at the National Owl Turkey Federation. Uh, this was handmade by uh, a guy I met, and this is what it sounds like. Uh, this is really handy. I got a bunch of turkeys to strike up with it, actually. Really good uh, locator call. Yeah, it's really good, but even if you can't out hoot with your mouth, which uh, I'm not typically the best at it. I couldn't do that at all last year. I started practicing on it, but that's what I started using, and it really works. It really worked a lot, and I figured to use it a lot this year. Uh, I'll show you my uh, slate calls I have. I have one glass call. I'll save it for last, but I use... This is one of my top calls. This is a Hardee's call. It's split personality. Split personality. Uh, you have a little call in the back. You can run. It's good for early morning for pern and everything. And it's real, real light. Then you can get if you want to get heavier with it. You can use the front of it. Uh, that's one of them I use. And uh, I use another Hardee's one. This is called the Fatal Attraction. This was my first ever slate call. Uh, it's really good. It has a real nice pitch to it. Uh, you can get pretty high with it. Uh, this is what I call, I called a turkey in with this last year and it, it worked really good, it worked really well. And my top favorite turkey call, I got this at the National Wild Turkey Federation. Uh, this is a David Halloran call. It's a glass pot call and uh, it's, a, it's a real pretty call. It says Crystal Mistress on it. It's really nice, it sounds great, it gets a real high pitch to it. And uh, I have two, slick, uh, two uh, strikers for this and then I have a couple strikers for my other ones. And uh, them are the, the slate calls I, I like to use, so I'll have Tyler show you his. Okay, I do have one slate call with me. Um, I am going to order another slate call from uh, Hardy's Custom Game Calls. Um, this is a Night and Hail old slate call, and then I have a strut power stick striker right there. Um, from what I've used, it's a really good combination. 
it's just really old, but that's all right. Anything works when uh, you have turkey call. Um, I do have a crow call, locator call, uh, from Night and Hail, actually. Them are amazing for locator calls. They work really well. Great locator calls. Uh, this is what it sounds like. So, uh, yeah, I really like this. I've used it a bunch, turkey hunting. So, yeah, that's uh, all I have with me right now. But, yeah. I'll show you my uh, decoys I use. I use a half strut Jake and a uh, hen. Uh, these are avian X decoys. Uh, I used this last year, and the turkeys were acting weird last year. Nothing really came into this, but this is one of my favorite decoys. It has a fan. It's uh, decomposable. You can just take it off. You throw it in your bag, and then you throw this in your little bag, and you can just carry it around. It's great. It has a little stick for it. Uh, the sticks are in my room. but And then I use a avian X uh, hen decoy, actually. This is my favorite hen decoy that I've used so far. Uh, uh, you can take the heads off of it, uh, have another head to where it's feeding, and it has a uh, little stringy feet, and uh, you have a your little stake you can put in it. Uh, it's a really good decoy. I take it everywhere I go. Uh, it looks realistic, and uh, that's the decoys I like to use. So I, the decoys I use, um, I got these for Christmas. I cannot remember the name of the brand that they are, but they are foldable. Turkey decoys. This is not a strut. It's just a walking uh, decoy. Uh, Tom decoy has a beard hanging down. Um, it has stakes that I already attached to one of them. Um, yeah, it just stakes in the ground really easily, and even the wind could like push the decoy around and make it look uh, more realistic. Them are really handy if you just gotta throw something in your bag real quick and you don't have enough hands like us uh, when we're carrying our camera decoys. Them, them are really handy. So, like I said, this is what they look like folded down. You just fold them real uh, quick and easy. But this is the hen decoy. Open it up really quick. That's what it looks like. Uh, really easy to uh, unfold and fold back up. But, yeah, these are really handy. I haven't got the chance to use them yet. Um, so I'm really excited to use them this turkey season. Yep, they'll be good to use if uh, you're walking down and you strike up a turkey and it's real close. Some are good to just set down real quick. So you can just pull it out of your bag, fold it out, and get it set up. But that's mostly, that's all we use for, for turkey hunting. Uh, hopefully we get some good luck this year and we get some videos posted. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. And I hope you have a good rest of the day. And uh, thanks for watching Living Love in the Outdoors. See you guys later. See ya.